Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by today for my March completed pages. I haven't been very successful with getting to my goal of 10 pages a month, but I do have seven pages to show you. Lots of spring themes and bunnies ahead. <laughs> All right, so the first page is going to be from Disney Mandalas by Hatchet Heroes. And I did Tinkerbell and Friends. Here it is. Just make sure I'm centered here. All right, so I used Ohuhu alcohol markers and um, some silver gel pen around the wings and some, I think I used um, some white like really watered down acrylic paint just to kind of give it that like milky look. And then I used, um, it looks like a metallic watercolor inside there too. So let me see if I can get this to kind of shine for you. There we go. All right, I was not familiar with some of these characters so I had to kind of look up uh, their clothes and their hair. So I think they're pretty good. I feel like there was one that was kind of off a little bit, but that's okay. So yep, there is that one. And this one is by Hatchet Heroes. All right, next page is going to come from um, Nina Stajner. This is my tiny forest coloring book. And these little animals are so cute. All right, I picked this one because I've been working in the garden, so I thought this was like very fitting for the month um, with the spring flowers and just in the garden. So yeah, I used um, the Luminance color pencils and some chalk pastels. And at first, this was super light, which I liked, but then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna darken it up just a little bit. Um, but then the blue and the green mixed too much, or sorry, the blue and the yellow mixed too much, which made this turn a little bit green. So got a little heavy handed with that, but I still like kind of the yellow and then just a light blue over here. So yeah, the background is done with chalk pastels, um, I think. I did chalk pastels too on the, yeah, the dirt and the grass. So, but all the other stuff is Luminance color pencils. Um, I may have used either a gel pen or a Posca, white Posca, just to highlight a little bit on the porcupine. All right, super cute book. All right, this one is Guardians of the Enchanted Forest by Forest Diver. And I picked um, a page in this book for um, one of Jamie's Coloring Love, her channel. On her Instagram page, she is doing a tag, Coloring the Movies 2024. And each month she's doing like a different movie. So this month was Avatar. And I mean, as you can see, just by looking at the cover, um, yeah, they're, they're very avatar looking characters in general. So I think any page um, would have fitted fine for this theme. But I did this one. And I'm going to go ahead and put up the color palette and her kind of um, idea page up next to this. But yeah, so I immediately thought, you know, she would be perfect and blue. I liked the little storm cloud there and her, her skirt has, it's like a cloud. Um, and then of course, all the colors, very bright, um, lots of blues, but then pops of the pink and orange and yellow. So yeah, the hair on the avatar is kind of, you know, a darker hair, but so I added some kind of pink highlights in there too. And for the skirt, um, I did use some, it was either white Posca or gel pen, and then a light blue metallic watercolor. All right. And I don't know if I said the name of this, so it's Guardians of the Enchanted Forest, illustrated by a forest diver. 
All right, next book is, um, this is Magic Hour by Carolina Kubikowska. And I love doing watercolor in this book. The pages are just uh, really thick. It's not watercolor paper, um, but you can still put quite a bit of water on these pages. Um, and then they are also single-sided, so. So that is nice. You don't have to worry about anything bleeding through. Um, yeah, so I did the bunny and yeah, so some yellows and greens watercolor. This is um, Roman Schmalls watercolor. And then the the bunny, it, it did take quite a bit of layers to kind of darken up the, the shades, but um, that's really fun to kind of keep layering those. And let's see, I did use a yellow paint pen for the stars here and inside like the flowers just to brighten up that yellow a little bit. Oh, and also a black pen just to darken up the eyes and darken up those lashes a little bit. All right, there is that one. Okay, next is one from Yippee Kawaii Mandala Magic Volume 2. And these are great when I don't feel like doing like a lot of multimedia type stuff. I'm just trying to keep it simple, um, repetitive. Um, but yeah, I did this page. <laughs> I love the titles of these pages too. They're always like super creative. So this one is called Crawl Ready for This. And yeah, here is my color palette. I used Ohuhu alcohol markers. Um, yeah, and if anyone can make Bugs Cute, it is uh, this illustrator. And I don't know if I said who it was. It is Danny Banani um, by Funusual Suspects. And yeah, I, I just think the little bugs are so cute. Okay, that is it for that one. And next is going to be from, I'm not gonna say that, but it's basically um, The Seasons Book by Rita Berman. And it's kind of a compilation of all her different seasons. So she has like a fall, a summer, spring, winter book. Um, and so she's taken um, a select few of those pages and added them to one book, so Seasons. Um, and I did a little bunny here for spring. The the flowers really reminded me of like a folk folk tale or folk art type of um, like imagery. So that's I kind of looked up um, color schemes for that. Uh, so I made a blue bunny and let's see. Uh, the background and of the bunny. So the blue of the bunny is done with Albert Durer watercolor pencils. And then the background also is done with watercolor pencils. Um, so this time, instead of coloring directly on the page, I would color like on a rough surface and then use a water brush to pick up that color and so I can, you know, really lighten it up if I want to or darken it. The flowers are done with Artex uh, paint pens. All right, there's that one. All right, last page or full page to show you. I do have another one I'm going to show you part of, um, but this is, let's see, Grains of Gold by Hannah Carlson. And I did. Not a bunny, but I really, I thought these looked like jelly beans and it says sweets on here. So I thought this was fitting for the Easter time frame. Um, I kind of threw everything at this because I wasn't liking the way I was getting some results. So then I just layered stuff on top too. So watercolor, um, I think I used the Albert Dorr watercolor pencils again I, on that same method where I color on a different surface and then use a water brush to kind of pick that up and lay it on here. So that is with the, on the ground. The base of the jelly beans, I used a water-based marker and then a color pencil. Um, well, actually I used 
two different shades of water color markers. So a lighter shade and then a darker one to do the shadows. And then if I felt like it needed more shadows, I added some gray shadow lines. And if that's still, if I still needed more punch, then I went over it with color pencil. Uh, the background was also done with the watercolor. It was just really, really light. Well, you can see like the back up here, I kept this light. Um, so it was all like that. And I just felt like it needed to be a little bit darker and have that contrast between like looking through the glass and not. So um, on top of the watercolor here, this is all pan pastels. So it's just a, like a deeper, more vibrant um, intensity of color, um, but still kind of that modeled look there. Um, the mouse, I usually start off with a layer of water-based markers, um, and then um, I can do some texture with that, and then I'll go over it with a water brush and kind of blend that out. Um, and then, so the fine lines then are gonna be color pencil. So color pencil for the ribbon here, and then I also used a Spectrum Noir glitter pen for the ribbon. And let's see if I can get that to sparkle. Uh, maybe a little bit. But okay, so that is it for that one. Oh, um, I did use some like white acrylic paint and like Posca to get the, the white lines here and the highlights on the jelly beans. I didn't really know what to do with these little tiny things. I tried to paint them white and then add just a little bit of like light blue and pink shading inside there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like those or not, but anyway. Overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, so this last page I did um, in Fairy Tales Coloring Book by Emily Leadhall Ober. And um, this one I did for a group color along on Instagram. And we reveal our page at the end of this month. So I'm not going to show you the whole thing yet. Um, I did um, work on a video of the background. So I'm going to show you just part of the background. Um, and then hopefully I'll get that up in the next day or so. Um, but yeah, so here is... A peek at the background so it's these little watercolor circles really fun to do um, the page is the girl with she's holding an umbrella and she's kind of sitting in the flowers so yeah so that's all you get on that one you'll have to tune back in to see more of that and then definitely it will be on my finished pages for um, April too. Okay, so um, I apologize for my bad time management because I started a new job and I just I haven't been able to color as much as usual. So um, yeah, which makes me sad because I haven't even colored anything for this month yet. So I really need to, to work on that. Um, but I hope you are finding time to color and I will see you next month. Thanks everyone.